Welcome everybody to Central Valley Today. I'm Stephanie Bainham. And I'm Alex Delgado. Thank you so much for being here with us. We're going to kick off today's show with a very exciting program featuring all kinds of art done by students and professionals. The CSU Summer Arts Program offers a series of classes along with a festival that gives the public the chance to check out shows unlike any other. And for the students, it gives them the opportunity to study with the pros and gain some hands-on experience. Here to give us an update on how the program is going and all the upcoming shows that we all need to go to. We have Rachel Nardo. She's the director of the CSU Summer Arts Program. And we also have Tanya Asegueda. She's a community relations specialist. Thank you both for being here. Thank you for having yeah, us. Thank you for having us. Oh, this is so exciting, Rachel. <laughs> we are so excited to be here. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> this is our second season and uh, it, it's it's even better than the last season, yes. so we're really happy about that. How is that? How is it better than the last season? And explain exactly to our viewers what exactly the CSU uh, Arts Program is. Well, first of all, it's better because more, more people know that we're here, mm -hmm. even though we were here for 13 years before. Mm -hmm. And Tanya, we have Tanya, and she's been amazing to, with our marketing. Um, and the program, you know, the program itself is we serve all the students all over the state, the CSU, and, mm -hmm. and any other school. And then we have students like from the Juilliard School here studying with, uh, in Boston University, and we have people from Carretero, Mexico. Wow. Uh, I love Carretero, yeah, Mexico. Yeah, yeah, the, yeah, wow. yeah. So, you know, we have students from all over the world. This is an international event. Yeah, it's an international program with international artists. Mm, so, so impressive. And this is the this is the weekend that their showcases are coming up. So during the week, for the first two weeks, we have evening uh, programs with the artists, the master teaching artists, and then now this weekend we have the student showcases. Oh, yes. And uh, they're they're exciting. Yes, Tanya, can you tell us more about the student showcases? Because those are free. They're free. So they start tomorrow. I think the four, the first show starts at 4:15 with Spectrum Dance Theater. Spectrum Dance Theater is actually located in Seattle, Washington under the direction of Donald Byrd. He's a world-renowned um, dancer and teacher and amazing man. And so uh, he's been studying side-by-side -side with students for the last two weeks, and they're going to perform for the public. So a normal Spectrum dance show in L.A. would go for $125. Wow. And you can see what the students have learned under the direction of Donald Byrd for free tomorrow. We also have um, a flute concert in the evening. On Saturday, we have everything from author readings to um, comedy show in the evening. So, you know, these are pre-professional and professional students who have been studying with world-renowned artists, and you can see what they've come up with for free this wow. weekend. Wow. So for how many weeks do they come to Fresno and Fresno State mm -hmm. and, and, and study with these experts and these uh, yeah. very... Yeah. Much professional artists. So two and two. Okay. Um, two weeks, and then they can extend and stay two weeks with two, more new teachers. Okay. So so, so they could be from all over the world. Mm -hmm. They come to Fresno State, and then you have professionals from all over the world come teach them, and then they're showing off their stuff this weekend, basically. Right. In right. two weeks, so we've wow. got two two-week courses, and they fit an entire semester's worth of work in like wow. 10 days. Wow. wow. So it's phenomenal. You know what I think is really neat for the community? We have. We have programs that are especially great if people want to take their children out mm. to see something. It's and it's casual. I mean, we have the dance program, we have the flute, we have a creature workshop where the the students make creatures and then they put it in the co oh, computer cool. and they make they make it move. They learn how to make paper. They learn how to make the paper into books. Wow. And it's just really cool. There's a lot. There's something for everybody. Yes. And I love how this is, this has a rich history. The Summer Arts Festival. Mm -hmm. So I know you said you're from Long Beach. So mm -hmm. it used to be in Long Beach. It used to be in Monterey. But why Fresno now? Why is this your home? Well, all all of the campus CU, CSU campuses have an opportunity to bid, and then we go, go we go around and we visit all those campuses and we figure out who has the best for st facilities in the arts um, and who. Who wants us? You know, yeah. who would really like us to be here? And Fresno, the community came out in droves. Oh, yeah, <laughs> I mean, that's so good. I mean, uh, it, there were probably 200 people at the community meeting saying why they wanted us here. Wow. The arts are huge in Fresno. Really yeah, are. yeah. So uh, we lo we love that. We love being here. Yeah, we'd love to have you. <laughs> <laughs> and what else did the people from the community say about the the festival and about why uh, they want you guys here so much? I Anya? think I think it's access. You know, you get access to these professionals who may not come to Fresno for any other reason. And so for a month. For a month, you know, all of July, we're giving them 
dance, art, theater, music, and all they have to do is go to Fresno mm -hmm. State. So it's something out of the ordinary, something that doesn't come along but once a year, mm -hmm. and it's right here in their backyard and you know they want it they want they want something to do during the summer and we we're happy to give it to them yes and this is such a great and intelligent thing to do and obviously you're out of the heat to your nice cool auditorium yes. yeah, with air <laughs> <laughs> so besides the student showcases i know um if you could quickly mention there's also a few more performances right that are yes. that are lined up after this weekend we still have two full weeks of performances monday night we're doing a stage combat demonstration with swords and it's um, actors who you know stage actors from TV and movie they'll, they'll be demonstrating uh, we've got a couple of readings Bob Dotson who is a former NBC journalist for like 40 years he'll be doing a lecture oh wow yeah so you guys should come with yeah, me that's it's gonna be really one. really great so you know we have still got ha like half of our season to go so we're awesome. really just warming up okay. yeah yeah and if, if students want to still enroll they can oh cool. so okay. that second so yeah. where do they go to do that and where can people go for more information and times and so the CSU summer arts okay. org website okay. and, mm -hmm. and our phone number is on there um, you can always call and ask to speak to Rachel or assistant director Joanne Sharp but we're more than happy to We've still got a little bit of time to get students in oh we're so excited it. for yeah. that well thank you ladies thank for discussing you. this awesome opportunity and once again thanks for choosing for us now I know yeah. that's amazing we're happy to good thank you we're, we're thrilled to be here and good. there's still more to come yeah. still yeah, more to absolutely. come for the rest of the month okay thank you ladies thanks so much